In the opening scenes of the movie, we see a nameless Igor worked as a clown and a physician for a traveling circus. Because of his hunchback, everyone treats him poorly, but Igor is very smart and draws detailed pictures of human anatomy in his free time. While performing in London, an aerialist named Lorelei falls from her trapeze. Victor and Igor rush to help her, and Igor impresses the doctor by saving Lorelei's life. That night, the circus owner locks Igor in a cage for drawing pictures of himself and Victor. Victor frees Igor and most of the circus performers chase them. One dies in the chaos. Back at his home laboratory, Victor realizes that the hunch on Igor's back is a cyst. He removes it and puts Igor in a harness to fix his posture. Igor can stand for the first time in his life. Victor goes down to his basement lab, leaving Igor to clean himself up. The next morning, Inspector Turpin and his colleague Alistair investigate the murder of the circus worker. Turpin finds Igor's drawings and a bag that Victor dropped the previous night, which contains a lion's paw. Turpin turns the sketches into wanted posters, stating that the men are wanted for murder. Turpin confides in Alistair that he doesn't think either Igor or Victor committed the murder. However, he mentions that a mysterious man who matches Victor's description has been acquiring animal parts all over London for several months. Turpin, a deeply religious man, suspects Victor is involved in something sacrilegious. Later, Igor locates the hospital where Lorelei was taken. He pays a maid to care for Lorelei. On his way back to Victor's house, he spots the wanted posters and gets scared. When Victor returns home from college, he assures Igor that the authorities are searching for a hunchbacked clown. Victor shares that his life's mission is to undo death's grip. He demonstrates his latest experiment to Igor, reviving the eyes of a man who passed away months ago. By preserving the eyes in a special liquid and connecting them to electric wires, he can bring them back to life with the flip of a switch. The eyes spring to life and Igor corrects a mistake Victor made. Victor is impressed and thankful. Victor and Igor start reviving various organs like lungs and a heart. As weeks go by, Lorelei finds someone to support her improving her life too. After Igor brings a pair of lungs back to life, Victor takes him to a fancy party. Victor gets drunk and acts annoyingly with his friends. Igor spots Lorelei, who doesn't recognize him at first, but then warmly greets him when she does. She now pretends to be the lover of a wealthy baron. Victor interrupts their reunion and behaves rudely towards Lorelei. Despite intriguing her with talk of reversing death, she prefers Igor's company. At the end of the night, Victor warns Igor about getting too close to Lorelei, labeling her as a distraction. Shortly after that, Victor takes Igor to his basement lab and reveals Gordon, a horrifying chimpanzee-human hybrid assembled from parts he acquired from various sources. With Igor's enhancements, Victor believes he can bring Gordon to life using electricity. Igor is initially confused, but his confusion turns to utter shock when Victor shocks Gordon and revives the creature. The next day, Victor showcases Gordon and his experiment at his college. Only a few people attend the lecture, including Lorelei, whom Igor invited, and Finnegan Victor's wealthy and snobbish classmate. Initially, Victor struggles to bring Gordon back to life, much to Finnegan's arrogant delight. Lorelei appears disgusted by the whole spectacle. When Victor hits his equipment in frustration, it accidentally shocks Gordon, again bringing him back to life. Gordon goes wild and tries to attack Igor and Lorelei. He manages to escape the classroom, so Igor pursues him through the building. Eventually, Igor corners Gordon in a stairwell, and they both fall over the banister seemingly to their deaths. However, Victor arrives and rescues them. Enraged by Gordon's existence, he crushes the creature's head, ending its second life. Later, Turpin arrives at the college to assess the damage caused by Gordon. Finnegan visits Victor and Igor at Victor's house, asking them to resurrect a human. Igor wants nothing to do with Finnegan, but Victor insists on accepting the commission. Later, Turpin and Alistair visit them. Turpin confronts Victor about his experiment with Gordon and wants to search his home, but Victor insists on a legal warrant. Turpin and Victor argue over religion with Victor, expressing disdain for Turpin's Christianity, and they part on unfriendly terms. The next day, Igor takes Lorelei for a stroll through the busy streets of London. She confides in him about her unease regarding Victor's experiments, feeling that Victor goes too far. Igor struggles to criticize Victor because he feels indebted to the doctor for everything he has become. 
Laura Lai disagrees, seeing Igor as inherently kind and brilliant. Igor agrees to talk to Victor about it. When he returns home, he meets Mr. Frankenstein, the doctor's father. Mr. Frankenstein informs Victor that he has been expelled from college. Overhearing Mr. Frankenstein's harsh words to Victor, Igor decides not to voice his concerns. Instead, he redirects Victor's attention by suggesting that his sketches of Prometheus, the reanimated corpse, are too small. To create a reanimated body capable of sustaining a charge, they need to construct a much larger human. Victor's enthusiasm returns. He and Igor believe that by implanting two hearts and two sets of lungs into Prometheus, and reviving him with lightning, they could bring him back to life. Igor notices Victor's pocket watch and asks if it belonged to someone he loved. Victor and Igor work tirelessly on constructing Prometheus. One night, Igor attends a dance with Lorelei and they have a wonderful time together. Later, Lorelei invites Igor upstairs for some privacy and they spend the night together. Meanwhile, Turpin's anger towards Victor intensifies. The next morning, when Igor returns from Lorelei's party, he finds Turpin and a group of policemen attempting to break into Victor's house. Sneaking inside, Igor warns Victor that they need to escape. Victor has arranged for one of Finnegan's carriages, but he wants to destroy his machines first. Turpin sneaks in behind Igor and pulls a gun on them. Victor manages to push him into one of his machines, causing Turpin to scream in agony as his hand gets caught in the gears. Victor and Igor flee through an underground passage and escape in Finnegan's carriage. As they depart, Turpin emerges from Victor's house having lost his hand and an eye just in time to see the Finnegan family crest on the carriage. Finnegan doesn't seem bothered by Victor and Igor's wanted status. Instead, he sends them to his family's castle in Scotland. When Igor refuses to go, Victor lashes out at him, belittling him and claiming Igor will never fit into society on his own. As Igor watches Victor, his former mentor, depart, Finnegan's men ambush him. They cover his head with a bag, tie up his hands and legs, and toss him off Westminster Bridge. Finnegan wants his family to control Victor's life-giving technology and sees Igor as a loose end. Despite being bound, Igor manages to free his feet and swim to the surface. He turns to Lorelei, who nurses him back to health. Recovering, Igor finds Victor's watch in his possession. Victor had shared a childhood memory with Igor about his brother Henry's death during a sudden snowstorm, leaving Victor burdened with guilt. Realizing he must stop Victor's experiment, Igor decides to go to Scotland, with Lorelei insisting on accompanying him. As Igor and Lorelei reach Finnegan's secluded castle, they face a battalion of guards. Lorelei distracts them, while Igor slips past unnoticed. However, when Lorelei attempts to leave, Turpin suddenly appears. Having been fired for lacking a warrant to search Victor's home, he's desperate to halt Victor's satanic experiments. Inside the castle, Victor and Finnegan prepare for Prometheus's resurrection amidst a brewing lightning storm. They secure the body in a cage connected to electrical wires. Despite Igor's attempts to intervene, Victor brushes him aside. Turpin also manages to infiltrate the castle just in time to witness lightning strike the body. Gradually, the chest begins to rise and fall, signaling signs of life. Finnegan and Victor celebrate, but as more lightning strikes the tower, the machinery explodes, leading to Finnegan's fatal fall. Turpin aims his gun at Victor, but their attention shifts when they realize Prometheus's cage is empty. Victor boldly declares, there is no god, only man. As they spot Prometheus across the tower, Victor rushes towards it while Turpin threatens to shoot. However, the creature remains unresponsive to Victor's approach. Victor soon realizes his grave error. He hasn't created life at all. Turpin fires at Prometheus, triggering the creature's furious attack on Victor. Despite Turpin's continued gunfire, Prometheus ultimately kills him. In a desperate move, Igor intervenes and drives a spike through Prometheus's heart, causing the creature to collapse. However, Victor reveals that Prometheus has two hearts, and it revives just as Igor strikes its second heart. Exhausted Igor collapses. The next morning, he wakes to find Lorelei by his side, holding a letter from Victor. In it, Victor acknowledges Igor's departure and apologizes for his mistreatment, acknowledging Igor as his greatest creation. Lorelei and Igor share a heartfelt embrace. Meanwhile, Victor embarks on a new journey in the Scottish countryside. The movie ends. Thanks for watching.